continuing coverage now on the Supreme Court, hearing oral arguments in a religious freedom case. The contention comes over whether or not the state of Maine can ban families from using the state's tuition aid money to send their students to faith-based schools. And joining me now to discuss is Betsy DeVos, former U.S. Secretary of Education. Secretary DeVos, great to be with you today. Uh, first off, I'd like to get your thoughts on that case and the possible implications, uh, in particular the impact on religious freedom. Well, it's a really important case, Tracy, and everyone's watching it very closely. Everybody who's been fighting for education freedom for many, many years, what we know about the main case is that the main law uh, explicitly discriminates against faith-based schools. And so uh, the court uh, will opine on this soon. It could have really wide-reaching implications for schools across the country. And I'm very hopeful that that's the case because families more than ever, after experiencing the last year and a half with all the lockdowns and COVID, are, are seeking alternatives and other options for their kids. Yeah, absolutely. And I want to talk about that now, the pandemic and the impact, as you mentioned, it's had on students and also their learning. Uh, a recent study from the National Bureau of Economic Research, uh, it looked at the standardized test scores from the 2020 to 2021 school year in 12 states, and it found that passing rates in math classes were down more than 14 percent. Uh, does that surprise you? And what do you think needs to be done to better support our students and their academic success? Well, it doesn't surprise me in the least. I was uh, fearing this and predicting this early on when schools initially shut down. And the longer that they stayed closed, we knew intuitively there was going to be dramatic learning loss. And tragically, it's the kids at the lowest end of the spectrum that are being hurt the most or that have been hurt the most. We're not going to know the full extent of it, probably for months, if not years, but the only way this is going to ultimately be resolved for each child is if their families can do the things, get the resources and do the things they need to do to catch their child up and help them to continue to get with their learning. Yeah, and, and as you've talked about, as we know, uh, you're a, a big supporter of school choice. And like we've seen through the pandemic, a lot of families have been reassessing their educational options. Uh, here in the state of Virginia, where I live, uh, public school enrollment dropped over uh, by over 3 percent since the fall of 2019. And in Loudoun County, Virginia, which is one of the most populous counties in the state, their enrollment in public schools dropped by 7 percent. Let's talk a little bit more about what is behind this. And do you think this trend will continue? Well, I do think the trend is going to continue because, number one, while schools, while kids were locked out of school, uh, families suffered. They weren't able to do the rest of the things they needed to do. Kids learning at a distance, for most of them, it didn't work well. And then for families, for parents, they could see firsthand what their kids were learning or not learning. And many of them were horrified, frankly. I mean, Loudoun County's been kind of the epicenter of that, where uh, now parents are going to school boards, school board meetings, rightly so, to question curriculums, uh, things that are happening without their knowledge or consent. And, uh, and, and I think families have really awakened to the fact that while they thought they had a lot of control with their kids' education, they in reality have not. And so it really is ripening the environment for education freedom, for putting the resources that are already designated for every child into those families' hands to be able to direct and control their kids' futures and their kids' opportunities to find that right fit for them. 21 states across the country have expanded or created new school choice programs so far this year. And I think it's only the tip of the iceberg on what is going to happen. Yeah, and quickly, we probably have about a minute left, but I want to get your take on this. We talked about Loudoun County. Uh, there was a high school there re recently that gave out a survey and it asked students some really invasive questions about their sexual history. And what's more, parents were actually left in the dark about it, never even notified. I want to get your thoughts on that. Um, is this even legal? And what purpose would a survey like that have? Well, I don't think it has any real legitimate purpose. And no, it is not legal. 
There is a federal law that prohibits that, that requires parents, families to be able to know in advance and decide whether or not they would choose to have their child asked questions such as that. It's a, a, a privacy act for students. And, and so parents should actually raise their voices about this and continue to challenge the things they see that they know are not in line with their own family values or what they want for their child's future. Well, Secretary DeVos, thank you so much for your time today and for weighing in. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Tracy.